Yo, 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 it's your boy, Father G, and I'm here with the parent cast. Jay. I'm Heba. And I'm Leon. So today we're going to be discussing what advice would you give to a parent trying to balance, balance their social life and parenthood? This is, if I, if, I, if I may, because yeah, mm. this is something that I'm, I personally don't think I have an issue or there is, there's issues around this, but I think uh, my fiance would say otherwise. At the moment, so my lifestyle runs in, in the weekday, so I work half eight to five, um, and then I get home Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, I go to the gym from seven to... I spend about an hour in the gym and I get home about nine o'clock. Um, my fiance is the main, <clears throat> I say the main parent, but during throughout those hours, mm-hmm. she's the, the main parent for that period of time. And then Saturday and Sunday, not always, but potentially things may come up. I may find myself doing a video shoot with yourself today. Mm-hmm. I may find myself attending different meetings and things like that. And I think the issue that we face around that is that um, you know, sometimes I think she feels like she's the only parent and sometimes she's gone on the lines of saying, I'm a, I am feel like I'm a single parent. Um, and <coughs> this has always been Leon. Leon has always been very active. Leon has always been very outgoing and, you know, I'm a people's person. You know, I like, meet, meet, I like meeting new people, talking, things like that. So um, the difficulty has come about in my own relationship um, of just finding that balance and I think there's parts of me that's not willing to compromise like me going to the gym is a, is a big thing it's been a big it's you been a big thing since already. my daughter came about I tell you that <laughs> now. and it was a thing of you know I am the man I, I need to make sure if anyone comes to to our door or if anyone you know puts anything by us I need to I don't want to rely on anyone you know so I need to be able to defend my family so that's partly the reason in the back of my head why I'm at the gym and then the other thing is just that I'm still pushing in life. I'm still trying to do things. So we could call social, this could be seen as a social activity. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and sometimes it's, it's I, don't, I, I don't know if I'm willing to compromise on a balance because I feel like these things are pushing for a better, uh, you know, like a better future in a way. I don't know, it just feels right what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm out partying every night you know, coming home drunk and all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. So there's a difference between this, the, the word socialising with yeah, different most things definitely. that I attend. Yeah, most but, definitely. Um, that's just something that I'm facing at the moment. And I think, um, I think I'm getting it right. Can I ask a few questions? <coughs> yeah. To his scenario. Mm. Um, do you feel that you're, since having your child, that you made a compromise in the sense of being more present? Because you, as much as you're going out there doing things to benefit yourself, mm. there's also stuff you need to do to benefit yourself at home. Yeah. So your presence as a partner, like, and also as a father, you being active all day, and then and I, I respect your gym time. Yeah. But then if she's having to compromise all the time and be the mm. main nurturer. Yeah. Then she also needs to feel like your support. So do you feel like you support her physically and not just financially yeah i think there's parts of me which is um one could say sexist because i see a woman as the main parent I I feel like natural, natural I gen- yeah i generally see the woman that. as the one that's going to be doing the majority of things anyway um i will make sure when it comes to finances bills all that sort of stuff that there is never a worry around that mm-hmm. um and i think finding that balance of you know uh, me being able to do the things that help stimulate my mind as well as um, you know then um, finding time I think you know me and you have spoken on this the mm-hmm. fact that you know like going out time just us two alone <coughs> is really really important mm-hmm. and I think if there's anywhere I've sort of fallen short of it would be that area of making sure that I deliver um, and make time for that um, but then I also saw it as you know what we watch we have like box sets that we like to watch we have there's programs on netflix or there's a program that comes on every monday that we enjoy watching so i also see spending time as you know watching those programs because we're together we're engaged in something that we both enjoy something that we both like mm-hmm. so that's our time so See, our my, second question, my second question <clears throat> to you is if she was here and i was to ask her about her social balance slash being a parent yeah do you think she'll say she's got it sorted as well or do you feel like this is more 
you've got yours more so. I think it's, it, it, yeah, it, the way my relationship is set up, it's always seen as, you know, when Leon's got something to do, he he, he gets to do it. So she doesn't have that it's, privilege it's of not doing even, so. I, Where you drop that one there, I don't even think it's that just in your situation. I just think that it always comes down to that. When it comes to a co-parenting relationship... The woman's more stuck with yeah, child. Yeah, yeah, a woman always feels that they're stuck, and I feel like it's... Which is why, which is I'm why a, I'm a Netflix com- and chill would have been nice if it wasn't a child. But when you have a child, you want to be able to, to remove yourself from that environment mm-hmm. and go somewhere else. So where you think you're spending quality time, she will appreciate it at times. I reckon probably at times she just wants you to be taking her out. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't even, it's not mm-hmm. even the cost of behind it. It's just the fact that she's able to disconnect from being a parent for a minute. Okay. And being, being Look, a partner. What you're yeah. saying is something you know that I mean? I've said. Yeah. It's something I've said because I had to learn that myself. Mm. But that's what I used to. I used to think like, boom, like certain things I used to do meant that I was away from home for a while. You get what I mean, like, and I was always in and out like a revolving door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is before I met my partner. Now, <clears throat> like when I met her, I kind of knuckled down and started like. Psh, 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 psh. There has to be adjustments. But then. like, with, within terms of like where you were saying like. I mean, no, so you asked him, mm. like, if she had a social life. And then every mother, no matter if it's co-parenting or single or whatever, mm. I feel like they just automatically feel like that. And again, because of the fact that us as men, and it, it, it hurts me to say it, but it's true. Us as men, we do feel like, well, you carry the child for nine months. You're, the, you're a sole carer, no matter what the predicament. Unless, you, we, unless, we, we unless you're that mum, unless you're that mum, unless you're that mum that actually thought, you know what? No, I'm not going to be... The sole parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to go and do my thing because there is mums out there yeah, like, like yeah, that. Yeah. But it's <laughs> like, even that to me is a strange because I'm not... I'm not it I'm is not, strange, I'm but women like, do go through that motion. Mm, if I'm like, not, wow, what the hell? Where did that come from? Like, I've never heard of that. My mum, you know how many times I, I looked at my mum and could see she just wanted to say, you know what? Wow, I'm going yeah, about my thing. never would. But she can't. We can't. Yeah. It, does, it, does, it does hurt me when I speak to females and they're like, oh... Or like, I, well, you, you you guys get to just pick up and go where you yeah. want. And that's and the truth. It, but it's a, the yeah, truth. it is the truth. So like sometimes, I like, think it's the when I say it, when that I, makes it like that. But exactly. Think, so Do you I, know what? That, what Leon said is right and it's not necessarily the truth. It's just the setup. Mm. Because in my situation, their mums can go and do whatever, whenever they wanted to, go and do that. 100%. Come, let me take my truth. Let's go. You got, and I was forced that on them. You. Forced yeah. that on them, bro. Yeah. Because I knew... I grow with one woman. My mum raised four youths. I see what it done to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm like, well, okay. You got children. Yo, my God, you know, like, certain time you're going to need time for yourself. No, are you crazy? I'm going to be with my kids all day. Women them. need No self-care. problem. Self-care. So when the time come around, I mm. present option again. What are you saying? Yeah, okay, cool. Exactly. Because everybody needs that time to yourself. And it's not taking that away from the child. Yeah, doesn't it doesn't mean the child means anything less. <laughs> nah. No. But Leon, your situation... Again, works for you. It's not even different. There's no indifference. It's his situation. But that works for him, but it doesn't matter. But about many people have that same situation. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to think. But it, 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 it clearly does, because no, it's in he something. Said, but he said no, but it does. It's, it, is, it is a current he, issue in the relationship. Oh, oh as, as they were saying, you can just get up and go. You're not around uh, Sienna enough, or you're not spending enough time. I feel, you know, my daughter, rec- what, the time that I spend with my daughter is quality because she likes to play hide and seek in the house. I hide in the same place. She acts like she can't see me. <laughs> and then she starts, when That's it's me, cute. when it's my time to find her, she's like, daddy. But then, you, but then you're just the fun parent. So then. I kind of just see it as, that, that's our quality time. And as long as when she asks me to play uh, hide and seek with her or something of that nature, and I deliver on that, I'm doing my bit. Okay, I, I know this yet. There's no such <clears throat> thing as a balance when it comes to parenthood and anything else. Mm. Mm. There's no such thing as a balance. It's management that's it see so you never have a okay i'm gonna get this balance between parenting and no because there's only one thing which is important which is the parenting of the kid Mm. everything else even going to work to cut the change this becomes secondary because if you have to choose between going to work and something happening with your child child hopefully everybody's choosing the child first time Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so this lets us know okay you know money don't mean nothing towards your youth, your child. So, okay, the child is, the child is what's most important. Mm-hmm. So, 100% I have to say... You... So, I personally feel like you're compromised. In your situation, you're going gym... I go gym five days a week, right? Mm-hmm. But if it comes to a situation where no one can look after my child, mm. it's a no-brainer. Yeah, i got to do it. And the same thing should apply to you, which is, okay, I go gym five days a week or four days a week. 
if I have to cut it to three and I just go ham on my session mm -hmm. and it just means I get that extra time for her to go and do something or for me to spend more quality because it's all good you being the fun parent that's around to sort of feel like you're, you're fulfilling your duties as a father but then there's more to that there's mm -hmm. layers to it do you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I think you maybe understand what she wants more because I feel like as women to demand something is almost like being selfish like the minute I start saying but I want my own time but you're and, 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 and that's and and that, but that's what I, guilty, yeah right? exactly and that's what that's what I feel when I like I, I speak to mothers or mm. like women about that situation there I automatically feel guilty like you see this is because where, it's like this well, is where I feel, you I feel the sorry problem. I feel sorry I feel sorry for them because it's like the problem, bro. you're actually right like when no but bro like when you deep it it's like well cool I had I had my first son I was still flexing I had my second son I was still flexing. Flexing. Yeah. No, and what I mean by flexing is that I could Just do what I want you. when yeah, I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Like some of my friends that don't have kids, they'll pick up the phone and be like, dib -dib 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 -dib, and I'm there. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. And it's like now I'm at this stage. I've got. I have my first child. My mind state. Everything is different. I don't like being outside for too long mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Unless it's meaningful. Unless it's worth my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I'm in my yard. Like I used to love being like, listen, I used to be on road every day. That was like finish work. Yeah, let's, I wouldn't even be doing the stuff sometimes, you get me? Just to be out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I think like, okay. Um, the way you answered that, the question was wicked because there's if you're out, I don't call what you was classing as socializing. Because mm. you're trying to better Mm. Everybody, yourself and the family, it's for the family. Yeah, so I don't I, class I, I, it but, 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 but that's what I'm saying. But that, that socializing thing, all that, I, I'm just it's talking about. Away from, it, but from then that, 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 yeah, that's where I, the balance there's, comes there's into it. There's always going to be time away from that's the where, family. You that's, have where, to. that's where the social life, because no matter how you want to put it, stepping out of your house and not with, and not and it's not and with your family yeah. is social. Yeah, yeah? Mm. you're gonna speak to people that ain't nothing to do with yeah. your your yeah. foundation. You're yeah, mm. away from your yeah, family. exactly. At work, you're away from your foundation because mm -hmm. you're you're like you were saying about Would the seed you call earlier. Work a social experience. Yeah, Being because at work is a social yeah. experience. Yeah, yeah no, because not. you meet you new might people. Friends, no, it's it's not, it's not, it's not. Listen, it's I've got working. I've got people that from my first ever job years ago that I still talk to now. Socializing is going to open bar. Social and it's going to somewhere mm. it's a dance or because going to people, somewhere of a recreational being or where you're in a creative space. There's people, people at my workplace now, for instance, yeah, and they come to work, they don't say a word to nobody and they bounce, yeah? <laughs> mm. People call them anti-social because you're in a working environment. How could you That's How could you be thing. around other human beings and not even conversate, not even say mm. morning, not even say, oh, can you pass me the pen or... Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like when, when, oh. I, when we talk about work, we don't mean literally it's a social point, but you have a, you have an opportunity to refresh yeah. and yeah. disconnect because, and rebuild. Whether it's a, different, it's a different environment than the setting that you're in, which is the so main... You, so, you, so you have the time away from the family. Everybody does. Like, especially in the day-to-day -day where your child has to go away. But Everyone has to work in it. So the child probably goes to nursery, daddy's at work, mummy's yeah. at work. Mm -hmm. So but if you're calling it social, <laughs> everybody has social time. Yeah, you understand. So when you come back together, then you want to go to the gym. So you do your, your thing, and your missus stays at home. But if there's an issue, that's only because things haven't been spoken about. Yeah. Mm. So if there's no, like, not, I, I, not that, necessarily it has issue. to be, yes, it yes, has because, to because it has to, has to be because you have to no, speak about something. No, you can't have an just, issue with someone and the person don't know what your problem. This is come yeah. on. This is unfair. No, no. Oh yeah, yeah. On on that terms, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on them so terms, yeah, yeah, you have to express yourself. There's been a thing of cut down the gym, but I'm not compromising on that. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so that's why when, when they were saying that, I was thinking, right, well, yeah. I already said that to him. And you were so like, there's been a discussion yeah. of, okay, but, you but, do this, that, and the, the fact that you had the discussion means that's the step forward. Yeah. So you said you made a compromise, man cut down a little bit on the gym. <clears> but if there's still an issue, there may not be the fact that you go to the gym. It may be the fact that but then, no, but then, no, but then, have things she wants to do that she feels listen, she can't do. Can't do. I was, ra I was raised by around women, yeah? Mm. And how I see it is raw, yeah? And sometimes, and, and, and people may call me a sucker for this one or whatever you want to say, yeah? Yeah, but, like, you have to compromise, innit? Like, or when it comes to this whole balance thing and all of that, like, literally, like I said earlier, if you came home one day and you were meant to go gym, and she said, raw, I signed up to the gym, I'm going gym. What the hell are you gonna do? You gonna tell her she can't go to the gym? No, pull it as this, right? So in every no, 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 wait, wait. Uh, you look answer the question first. Are you gonna tell her she can go to the gym? I she can't go to the gym. Question. No, I'll I... say 
I will say, in, in that There's situation, I will say, thank you, my brother. Of course, what? you can't go to what? the gym. Because that There's is called bad then, No, that's called bad then, You know I go to the gym. Wait, 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 but on this Monday, I'm not going to go to the gym and I've gone home and now she's saying she wants to go to the gym. She's going, wait, wait, explain it again, my brother. So basically, like so I the, said. The routine. So, yeah, so routine, wait, yeah, okay, yeah, the yeah. The routine. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, exactly like she said, that you set up, you yeah. Set you. you could, yeah, wait, 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 yeah. So like, all right, cool. Let's, let, let me put it in this scenario. You both work, yeah, eight to five, yeah. I don't know if she works yeah, eight to five, but you, work, you both work eight to five, time. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Recently... Like she's felt like, right, I want to go and do something for myself. She's realized that gym is that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so midterm after the yeah after you've been going for six no, six yeah. months, uh-huh. all of that, whatever. Yeah, and then one day you come back, and maybe, and sometimes as well, she may have suggested it, but you may not have taken it serious. Okay. Yeah, and then she's gone. You know what? I'm going gym today. That's it. Put my you, foot down. Yeah, I'm putting my foot down. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna turn around and tell her that she can't go? Are you not gonna sacrifice? Personally, the change in your routine. Personally, personally I would say I the, the plan in place. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's been honest. Like, been honest. No, but you have to be honest. Because the, the, the plan that I... The, look, I may already have way. things in my head. Like, we... This is the this is the agreement that we're working towards. You can't pull it on me. But then, it sounds like, like, like it's already one sided. From when you said this, it's causing issues. It sounds like you've agreed this. And she no, 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 no. So no, no, no. What's, I think what's no. What's happened is is that over time, hmm. you know, Monday to for Monday to Friday. Missing Wednesday, it's become a thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, oh, of course. Cool, you're in, I, 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 so, I, and that's what I'm saying. So I hear you when you're full, saying that. Full agreement from the beginning. Mm-hmm. That, okay, cool. Because I've got a personal trainer and everything. So it's, it started to then dawn upon her, I think, that, okay, well, you're not in the house as much and all that sort of stuff. So that came about. And then afterwards, it would, for me, that's where obviously she said, look, I think you should stop going to the gym as much as you're going. And I said, well, that's not something I can. I can do right now for my own mental stability. I no. needed to keep that in place, and and, and me, as long as you've explained that to her, me, that that wasn't that wasn't a, an option to compromise mm. on. Now, the thing I then said to her, I said, look, if there is things you want to do, then we can work out a plan. Okay. So yeah. one, for example, we can drop Sienna off to my grands. It's going to take a bit extra work, but at the end of the day, I can drop Sienna. My gym is in, uh, I think, Alpington area, so. I can either take Sienna, drop off to my grand. It's going to be extra work, but you that's, what, work. that's what's required. And that, that's the compromise I'm willing to, to make. I wouldn't be willing to make a compromise on the fact that... That's okay, either you go or I go. Can switch, I ask you a very harsh question? Me. Yeah. If it got to the point where she was like, do you know what, I'm actually fed up. I've expressed to you so many times that I feel alone. I'm doing this by myself. Yeah, cool, you guys have a, a nice, fun relationship. Yeah, you're, pro- you're the provider. But right now, I don't feel like I'm, this relationship's going to work too. out. Mm. And she's giving you now an ultimatum where she's going, listen, this is now damaging the relationship so much so, and you're not willing to compromise one day a gym. I'll give you an extra hour in a gym. Like, for <laughs> you, you, to, for you to... For you to... You see but no, but, the, but that'd be very, very sad because do you know what? Life is constantly changing. You're constantly evolving. Mm-hmm. And, and that's, you can't stop that's the point reflect. I was trying to hit on with the whole balance and everything. You need to come a point where, do you know what? I, as much as I need it, whether it's for your mental well-being, whether it's mm-hmm. for your physical, whatever, whatever it is, your yeah, time yeah. away... Do you know what? I find a way to disconnect or get my own time at home. Or do you know what? I find comfort within my within my partner. Or I find comfort within my child that will sort of give me that compensation. But I just feel like by you just saying no, because this is a setup, life changes all the time. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and you've got to be mindful about her well-being and her mental health and her ability to be the best mother. She can't be the best mother when she's constantly hounded as a mum all the time. Mm-hmm. She needs to retract and she needs to refresh. That's she needs why to refresh when you asked that question, mm-hmm. I was like, if that was me in that situation, I'd be like, yeah, go on, my girl, go gym. Yeah, because Only that... because over a period of time I have been, if she's been mentioning it, and then one day I'm not going to the gym, I'm going to the and she's like, you know, I'm going to go to the gym. I would rate that behaviour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, cause, okay, well done. And, and that's what I'm saying. And well, the topic that we're talking it. about is parent balancing social life yeah, and parent, yeah. parenthood, um, parenthood, yeah? And this is what I'm trying to say. With with parenthood comes responsibility, yeah? With the social life and everything, it's that is you as a person. That's for you, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I hear that. I hear everything that you're saying, yeah? But, like, me, one thing that I had to learn is that, raw man has to compromise. Like, I had to compromise. Otherwise, it's just going to jeopardise the whole relationship, the whole parenting the relationship. And the couple, you as a couple. Everything. Yeah, this, every, yeah that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Everything. Mm-hmm. Because it's just like, raw. 
she may be um, overwhelmed and not and, and not really expressing it because she knows that it's structure. And then literally, the child's seeing that energy. Do you get know what I mean? Mm. And it's like, and the reason why I've said that is because I've been, I've had two different types of mothers for my kids. Do you get know what I mean? So I've seen it from both sides. Someone that let me do whatever I wanted to somebody that had a voice. Do you get know what mm. I mean? And and was and you know already like steps in and like no 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 that's not gonna run. Do you get me like or like. And, and it shouldn't be either or. It shouldn't be someone who's completely passive and nor someone who's completely aggressive and trying to stand their ground. It should be able to go, do you know what? Here's my, here's my needs. Here's my situation right now. So I might agree something with you guys right now as, as a weekly plan we're going to do. But my life might change in a month's time and mm-hmm. we have to review this plan. Mm-hmm. It's not me trying to switch it up for the sake of being difficult. Mm-hmm. It's because my circumstances have changed. I'm now limited or my job has changed. Whatever it is, and you guys are you guys are privileged. You have each other. Mm. I'm a single mother, so I'm going to stress this because you have between yourself a rotation, a healthy rotation. If you really want it work, mm. where she takes like two days for herself, you you've got two days for yourself, and you've got one day together. Whatever it is, mm. you have the opportunity to flex mm. in the best way possible, where your own your own person, because you're as individuals. You get together. You are still your own lanes. You are still your own people. You're not trying to m- mesh into just one human being. So you're allowed to have your own habits and your own hobbies and what makes you happy. She's not going to be only happiness. She's not going to be only thing, whatever, nor is a child. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Mm-hmm. But when you're alone, which is my situation, I'm depending on, on, on uh, the whole support system around me, like my parents. Can you? My neighbour. Can you? Like, and you have each other. Do you know what I mean? So t- don't take that for granted. Mm. But, 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 let me put the big but on that one, yeah? Still. Wait. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Um, like literally like I've been at that point where she felt like she couldn't ask me if she can if she was ask, always asking everyone else like I'm there I'm here I'm right here but why did she feel that way well did I you, did find out up? I did find out later on because I had the same that, the same attitude that Leon has about the gym which is yeah? I got my time yeah like I've got things to do mm. like and at that time the things I had to do made money. So the money, she saw the benefits of that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, instead, she had to go somewhere else and if, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you? Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then I feel like now that, like I said, like I've changed my whole mindset, everything's different now. I just feel like because it was for so long that she was, can you, can you, can you? She's not used to coming to me and saying, can you? Yeah. So will speak up and say, raw, like I'm going here or I'm going out with the girls or whatever, da, 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 da. and I have to fall back. But mm. right, as a, as in options of like where she wants space and stuff like that, I'm not the first. Well, sometimes option. where it's a lot easier to just get on with it. Sometimes it's a lot easier to just go. Do you know what? I'll just stay at home. It's all right. Don't worry about it. And yeah, yeah. And I'm just, and, and I'm I just think like, oh, what do you mean? And then when I come back, you're gonna be like, oh, but I don't ever get to do nothing. Nah, nah, nah. But then, but then that's the thing. So it has a knock on effect on your relationship. It's not just you as a parent. It's just then you and you as a relationship. You're there's negative energy. There's a hostile environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you guys don't chat or you chat passively. You mm-hmm. can't really fully express how you feel because you're worried it's going to open a can of worms. Yeah, 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 so if yeah. you're consistently <clears throat> communicating, and I cannot overstress, communication is vital. Let, yeah. let it hurt or not hurt. Try and be mindful of how you deliver a message. Deliver is but it's important. Fun. And also, when you become a parent, you have now chosen mm-hmm. to put yourself second. So no matter how much you, no matter how much I want to do a podcast, no matter how much I want to go to the gym five days a week and try and look like a slim tick thing, whatever, <laughs> at the end of the day, if it comes down to me having to choose my gym and my son, in a heartbeat, without, if I have to cut down my hours, like me, I switch my hours just so I can take my son to school in the morning. My parents can and do this, it. And this is and this is just this is what I was going to touch on in this subject because that's a point that I thought I was in control of for a long time, and a lot has happened within well 2020 since 2020 started. A lot has happened. Um, Corona. With family. <laughs> 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 I'm so you got one jokes, yeah, right, one liners. <laughs> um, like literally, yeah. Like this year, a lot's happened. Like to make me kind of uh, appreciate a lot more things that I was taking for granted. Um, also, uh, it's made it me like you was touching it earlier about happiness and being happy. Like a lot of those things, I'm like overthinking, and then it all comes back down to the balance because it's like this here. This is taking me away from like my kids, my values of time with my kids. Like last week it was my birthday, so again I'm away from my kids. So then it's like I had to find a balance somewhere this week where I could dash them in and, and like, not, oh, it sounds bad when I say dash them in, but... Balance. Yeah, like put them into my, my schedule mm. so at least they know, raw daddy's here doing his thing, but listen, I've come here, do you get what I mean? I was saying uh, earlier about, raw I went to his box and I was tired, like things like that, I, I, I find a balance, but then when it comes to, for myself and my job and all of that stuff, that, yeah, I'm just kind of, 
you're still trying to find that. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather you feel scrambled within yourself and your child gets that consistency yeah, consistent than your child and, and your partner feels supported. Yeah, well, sometimes you know, it, ain't, it ain't good long term though. No, no, it's not good, but you guys can work on that. That can be a dialogue that's constant. Like, your partner's there to problem solve with you. Do you know what I mean? Like that. No, and that's what I'm. That's, but that's what I'm hitting on. Like it's not. In, like, not in a relationship where that like, I'm saying with us there's some things that we realise and at the moment we're having a little back and forth and whatever do you know mm-hmm. what I mean like on kind of personalities and where our headspace is at and what we want and etc mm-hmm. etc yeah but I'm talking about within myself it's like the balance of like just generally just everything even down to relationship balancing the relationship my friends my social That's life and, error, man. You'll get and then there. when you go to work and then it's just like Bro, this is making a bread right now, but you can't give it the time it needs. Yeah, because like you said, you can <laughs> change your shifts. Yeah, to to or you change if your shifts. I shift. have to. I will. Yeah, to better, but I, I don't have the option. Do you know what I mean? So it's like. But then I'll find a different that, job. That, that, I switch that, roles for, for to to cater to being exactly. But right. where, where my job is like. I, I wouldn't. I'd have to like okay, apply, and it's not guaranteed. And yeah, same. do you know what I mean? Like so, it's like it's all a risk factor. Do you know what I mean? And it's like any wrong move could like mess up the balance that I have with my kids that I was just saying I have yeah. that I've been working on for so long like any wrong move just could mess up and like I don't really I care about my balance and my personal self and my be- well-being and that but it's like you said it's not a priority Somewhere, but yeah. my job like I said if I take that risk and it goes wrong that's gonna throw it off every piece of balance I have can I just say in terms of why I feel I've got the balance and act on on point is because one I look at how my mum brought up four young boys without mm-hmm. any type of um, you know support from my father and especially it being consistent support and my mum relying on like her mum my dad's mum was very involved mm-hmm. in in our lives growing up and you know my mum had one uh, disabled child uh, I was okay then no sorry she had uh, two children with disabilities and. You know, my father, their father just wasn't wasn't there coming to the hospitals and all that sort of stuff. But myself now, when I look at my behaviour as a father, I didn't want to repeat any of those things. Mm-hmm. So, like, when it comes to my daughter having to go to hospital or, you know, nothing serious, just, you know, she's had, you know, little problems that have come about that's required us to go to the hospital, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Like, I've, I've been at, you know, like, my father didn't even turn up to my... Um, signing of my birth certificate, little things like that, and I some when I was doing it, I was like, "Rah, they give you a fountain pen. Like, how could you not turn up to this? Like, this is a serious <laughs> thing. Like, I've never been given a fountain pen to oh, sign yeah. something before." Um, so there's there's certain things that give me my own gratification in my head. That do you know what? No matter what, when it comes to like crunch time, when it comes You're to reading. a thing like mm. okay two parents really and truly should be here mm. for the decision making of what's going to happen with this child or I may want to throw in an opinion that my fiance may not bring bring up or whatever I know I'm I, I know I'm there you know what I'm saying I know no matter what when it comes to those serious things parents evening uh, selecting of schools like those key things mm. I know I'm there so when it comes to ba- when we talk about balance in that that's why I feel like me yeah, yeah me not compromising going to the gym and all that sort of stuff I don't really see it as a big thing to the extent of me balancing my time with my child because mm-hmm. there are certain things will never ever get in the way. If I if I if exactly. parents evening was on a Wednesday at X time, yes of course I would change it around because that's what's needed. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like those kind of things and this is what I'm trying to say, like with the whole balancing, like I, like I just said, I saw my mum raise me by herself and all of that and it's just like that's always in the back of my head when it comes to things like that because it's like I understand your child is number one and A1, but it's like a woman sometimes will sit back and be like, oh, so he sacrificed Jim to go to parents' evening, but he didn't want to sacrifice Jim. He sacrificed Jim for to, me, to, yeah. And yeah. I know that's, mm. that's you know I mean? that is something that my parents would say. Yeah, because uh, I've heard yeah. that being said to me, and yeah. I've seen it from my mum as well. Mm. Like, obviously, there was no, no, my dad weren't there, but like, I've seen it as in my mum, she could have been like, Say for instance, it's a, it's a very heavy month, so like <laughs> bills wise and stuff like that. Mm. My mum could have been doing overtime, but instead I was misbehaving, so she got drawn down to the school. She didn't have an option; she was the mm. only person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like now when you're solo, it's completely different. Yeah, the work life balance. Yeah, I'm like, like I'm now I'm talking on a solo point of view. Do mm. you know what I mean? Like when you're in a relationship, um, like Heather said, it is a blessing. Like to have two parents, 
is a blessing because you can bounce you off each other. You need to shower, yo. Like, I got no one to hold my son while I'm showering. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so you have, every you have minute. points of jumping yeah, in. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Turn, turn, turn it into rocks. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and then it's, it's like, it's rock. knocked out, it's knocked out. Like, when, right, when he gets to a certain age as well, and he's, you know, he's going to come with this, the questions, and I just thinking, listen, I just want to be in the shower by myself and sing. Not the energy, because it was there in front of me, but it, you didn't go out your way to get the energy. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, you have so I respect what you're doing, which is you're breaking the cycle of what you've experienced yourself, yeah. and that's amazing because some men either fall into the cycle unintentionally, and some of them aspire to ensure they break that. Mm. So, well done on breaking the mold, thank you. But you also <clears> got to be <throat> mindful of just the small bits that can then slowly start causing cracks in your relationship. Mm. So, you know, what listen to what your, your partner needs, and even if it is minor to her, it could be a big deal. So, in a sense, like you giving her a little bit of time for herself. <laughs> Where you go, do you know what? Let me hold her. You go and do your thing. Mm-hmm. She'll be so grateful. And, and what you have to understand with a woman, when you give her a little bit, she'll give you so much more back. Mm-hmm. And energy will keep going, keep Facts. going, keep going. Facts. So you, you think, okay, that let me just cute. cut the gym and come early. Come or give her something. I don't know what her favourite thing is, like flowers mm-hmm. or whatever. Well, even if you went gym every day and then on a weekend you just took over. You get yeah, what I mean? Not like, every weekend. Do you get what I mean? But... Or one day, that even, that, that could mean a lot. You get what I mean? Whatever it is, and honestly, I swear to God, she will bounce off your energy because you are, she depends on you mm. and she depends on your child for that look for that constant energy. So she's got her family outside mm. who she can rely on and, and her friends or whatever, but you are her constant energy. Yeah. So for the minute you do something and break that cycle a little bit or something, then you'll see naturally she'll start opening up a bit and she'll be more open and she'll be less argumentative or less or less passive about certain stuff and be able to communicate like... Just be mindful of how yeah. much you can make a difference by just being less, it sounds mean, but less selfish and just yeah. more, do you know what? As much as I really want to do this, I'm cool. I'll step down from it. Mm. You want to go out with your boys or do go to some lecture that's important to you? Is it life changing if I don't go? Yeah. All right, cool. Let me just step back and let her go out with her girls instead. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You'll be, you'll be so surprised. There's women who abuse it and there's women who just need it. Mm. So just mm. obviously there's, there's women and there's a whole other topic about how, mind, how bad mind they are. But there are women who just need a break and need someone to just understand. Mm. And the minute you have that energy and you guys get in sync with one another, it's going to be up and down. It's never going to be perfect. But if you're if you're both aware that you're in charge of your own happiness, mm. then you can make it. It's not going to be perfect, but you're in charge of it. 100%. Like me sacrificing this one thing here is going to lead to that place where I rest my head. Yeah, That's that it. needs to be... Um, what's the word? There's a word for the, that... that Take not quaint, me. not quaint, but there's a certain word in it. It, it. Where you rest your head needs to have a certain level of vibrations in Peace. it. Peace. Yeah, yeah, nice, word fam. Is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I have this thing. See, in my yard, bro, there's been no arguments, no beef, nothing. I can't have that in my yard, my brother, because yeah, that's the true. energy, fam. Mm-hmm. I'm very much about this energy Same. and vibe, innit? Same. So that in my yard, bro, can't exist. If someone comes in my yard and that's the type of energy, you, I, wouldn't, I won't even see you again. Yeah. And it's been nothing through me wanting, just through the way things work, fam. I won't see mm. you again, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I believe that put in the right energy, you get the same energy back. You so you, you guys are engaged to be married, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So I think just be mindful. Like, being a parent and being a spouse or being a partner, whatever, if you don't believe in marriage, whatever, it's an everyday job. Like, you yeah. do, like okay, you don't, you don't have the word job, but it's an everyday <laughs> thing. So in a sense, like, don't ever think, that, oh, now I'm married, I can chill. Nah, like the now you're married, you're about to start something. Every single day mm. is working on your marriage. Every single day is working on being a parent. There's no point where you can just literally take off your shoes and go, do you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm good for the next three months. Or I'm good like while the honeymoon phase is going through. No, you're constantly. And I think the minute people understand it's a day-to-day thing, the easier it will be, I think, mm. rather than see it as, oh, I've done this, now I'm good to chill. Yes, yes, yes. I agree with that statement, definitely. I think it's even important just for the viewers watching this as well is that, like we're constantly going through different scenarios mm-hmm. and even though we're, do, we're, we're having these types of conversations um we don't always know the best route or always have the best um answers and... answers for it but i think it's just having discussions like this help to bring it about or Most to bring clarity Most to definitely. the situation that well, we're no, facing no. because um as I said, the parent could be watching this and thinking to himself, shit, I'm in that same predicament yeah. right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And this is how I'm reacting to it or this is how I'm viewing the situation and I could be viewing it in a completely different mm-hmm. manner that right. could make things easier or you know, less difficult. Than I think it's back to facing. everyone just being able to listen to each other and just learn. Like we all can take something from each other. 
Mm. And every single person listening and watching can take something and all like say that's complete trash. I don't agree with that. And then they can give us a piece of it as well. Do you know what I mean? We, we all want to constantly evolve. Also being able to step back and look at yourself, isn't it? Just, just, just being able yeah, to yeah. step back and really, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because none, we don't really do that often enough. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's other people that we need to validate us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the most important validation is self. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? S sorry, yeah. sorry to cut the conversation short. We do have to... Rap. Yes, yeah, so wrap it up. They're going to kick us out. We, yes, we'll wrap <laughs> it up. But like these guys just said very passionately, and I'm, it's just making me smile. It's making me smile. Like, I hope that people do watch this and, and do take some, some stuff. And it does make your brain tick as well. Mm. It does make your brain tick. And Think about your actions. Yeah, and I feel like we didn't directly give you advice, but we told some stories and I gave our personal you opinions, which it. could we could give you the advice that you need, innit? So, blessings again. It's your boy, Father G. Jake. Heather. And Leon. Blessings.